Hey everyone, today we're diving into a part of history that doesn't get nearly enough attention, the powerful queens of Africa. These women ruled empires, led armies, and shaped the continent in ways we're only now starting to fully appreciate. Let's kick things off with Queen Amenarenas of Kush, in what's now Sudan. Back in 24 BC, she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Roman Empire. Yeah, you heard that right. When the Romans tried to take over her kingdom, she fought back hard. She even led troops into battle herself, despite losing an eye in the fighting. In the end, she forced Rome to sign a peace treaty on her terms. Not bad for a forgotten queen, huh? Moving down to Angola, we've got Queen Nzinga. She ruled in the 1600s and was a master diplomat and military strategist. When the Portuguese tried to turn her people into slaves, she outmaneuvered them at every turn. There's a famous story about how, when the Portuguese didn't offer her a chair at a meeting, she had one of her servants act as a human chair. Talk about a power move. Now let's head up to Egypt and talk about Hatshepsut. She ruled as pharaoh for over 20 years, way back in the 15th century BC. Hatshepsut oversaw huge building projects and sent trading expeditions all the way to Somalia. But after she died, her successor tried to erase her from history, destroying her monuments and scratching out her name. It didn't work, though. We still know how great she was today. In West Africa, we've got Amina of Zaria. She lived in the 1500s in what's now Nigeria and was a fierce warrior queen. Amina led a huge army and expanded her kingdom's borders further than ever before. She's still remembered as a hero in Nigeria today. Last, but definitely not least, there's Kandake Amanatore of Nubia. She ruled around the time of Jesus, and like a lot of these queens, wasn't afraid to fight. Amanatore rebuilt temples destroyed in a war with Rome and left behind tons of pyramids and other monuments. Yeah, African queens built pyramids too, not just the pharaohs. So why don't we hear more about these amazing women? Well, a lot of it comes down to who's been writing the history books. For a long time, it was mostly European men who didn't pay much attention to African history, let alone the women in it. But that's changing now. Researchers are digging into African sources and uncovering these incredible stories. These queens show us that women have always been capable of great things when given the chance. They were diplomats, warriors, builders, and rulers, every bit as impressive as their male counterparts. By learning about them, we get a fuller, richer picture of African history and world history as a whole. As So next time someone talks about great rulers of the past, don't forget to bring up these African queens. They deserve to be remembered just as much as any king or emperor. Thanks for listening, and stay curious about the parts of history that often get overlooked. There are always more amazing stories waiting to be rediscovered.